let's, let's explore another example of, of another type of a situation that may arise when we're solving systems through substitution. Step one, solve either one. Where do you want to solve from? Well, I'm going to solve for y. Why? Because it's already done for me. Substitute. So let's rewrite that first equation. y plus 1 equals 5 times x plus 1. Substitute this value of y in for y. Substitute it in. Now solve. I can subtract 5x from both sides. And I get something that doesn't make sense. I, I actually think I did my work right. So maybe I'm getting a clue here. Maybe this is telling me something. I substitute it in. I get to a statement. That's false. Zero does not equal five. So what do you think that might tell me about my system that I have here? Yeah, it tells me that I have an inconsistent system, a, a system with a null solution or no solution to a particular um, equation. I can't find any x and y coordinate pair that's true for both of those equations. And how you will discover those when you substitute is that as you're solving, you're going to wind up with some statement at the end that is untrue. And that's your clue to say that this system has no solution.